Hello, good morning. Look, the sun's on me. Look, look, I'm in the sun, I'm in the sun. And I'm so excited. The boys and I are gonna spend the day outside today. I don't have to work at the ice cream shop today, which is so unusual. And y'all, it is gonna be 78 degrees here. 78 and sunshine, and my husband has a new toy. A new toy for his grill, and you are not gonna believe what he is gonna cook up for dinner tonight. So spend the day with us outside on this beautiful, warm and sunny Sunday in Paducah, Kentucky, and put your bib on, because we're gonna have a big old dinner. You getting daddy love Pollux? Moo, you too. <laughs> Alexa, what's the weather today? Right now in Paducah, Kentucky, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has partly sunny weather with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 58 degrees. Pollux, are you gonna have morning zoomies in the sunshine? He's thinking about it. <laughs> well, not a zoomie, just a little run. Can you feel the sunshine? <laughs> I am fresh out of bed. I worked at the ice cream shop last night. Super, super busy night. I came home and <laughs> fell in the bed and yeah, this is what I look like. But it is a little chilly right now. Even though I'm standing in the sunshine, I think Alexa told me it was 50, 50 something degrees. So it's a little chilly, but within the next hour, I'll be able to ditch the sweatshirt and come outside and I can feel the warm sun like right here hitting my face. Oh, it feels so good. So for those of you all that are still in colder climates, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I hope this brightens your day. I hope that you can feel the sunshine. <laughs> and I'm sending some your way. So we finally had our lawn mowed for the first time. And our lawn guy, fantastic guy, came back here and for me put down all of our pine needles. We use pine needles instead of mulch in our flower beds. And he did all of this yesterday. So I don't have to do it. And Pollux loves the pine needles. I'm sure Maxie's gonna get a good roll in the yard today at some point. He had to get a shower with his daddy the other day because he was so muddy. Uh, moo! You did that on cue! Just see him in the muddy spot. Buddy, there is no denying this. You are caught on camera. I think he's showing off, y'all. Come here. Yep. Can, come here. Come here. Now you got a muddy booty. Look at that. You just had a bath, Moo. Uh, sir, I don't, you shouldn't drink out of the pool. You have water in the house. You're not listening to me. How come nobody's listening to me today? Are you hoping to get some bacon products? Pollux, are you doing the laundry with Dad? Mooey's doing the laundry. Moo, what are you licking? <laughs>
so far this morning. I got up at seven. I actually slept in until 10 after seven, which is so unlike me, but I got to bed super late last night. So I got up about 10 after seven. Randy slept until 9.30. I don't know what is going on around here, but we slept in. I've uncovered our patio furniture. I've got all the cushions out. I've had a shower and I'm gonna go on a walk with the boys here in just a little bit. And then Randy and I are just gonna hang out today. Like I said, he has a new grilling toy. The boy has a problem. This thing, he didn't tell me. I knew he was looking at this little toy. He showed it to me on Amazon and yesterday or no Friday this huge box showed up and I told him you are so no fun because he buys things for himself never tells me but when he had mentioned this little gadget for his grill I made a mental note I thought that would be a great thing to get him for Father's Day no he bought it for himself and he already had plans to cook something today I was actually supposed to work at the ice cream shop today which I would have been there from 12.30 to 7.30 and missed this entire day. But he was gonna cook dinner for me and have it ready when I got home. But at the last minute last night, one of my shift managers said, hey, I'll work for you tomorrow. And I said, yay, do it, go, girl, go. And so I can stay home with my husband and enjoy this beautiful day. And the dogs, don't forget the dogs. We are gonna go on a walk. I woke up this morning, I had on a sweatshirt, then I've converted to a t-shirt, and I think for my walk, I'm gonna have to put on a tank top. I've got on shorts, but it is heating up quick. Maxie's already rolled in the yard two times this morning, and Pollock's, I don't even know how many laps he's made around this yard. Number three, we're on number three. Mooey. He just gave him a bath. He didn't care number three and it's not even lunchtime. See out in the yard now? Up. Oh, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. Oh, Paul, it's, oh boy. Go get it. <laughs> oh, it's a squirrel. So what's on the agenda today? Well, I'll tell you. I'm gonna sit in my lounge chair and flip through my new cookbook that I got from one of you all the other day. I showed it in a video. I haven't really had a chance to just look through all the pages. So I'm just gonna sit down, relax, look at my cookbook. I'm gonna go on a walk. Uh, on the agenda is not fixing my hair. I took a shower, I'm clean, but y'all, I don't know what's going on with the hair. I have got a crazy curl pattern that's going on today and th this is just what it's gonna be so that's on my agenda not to fix my hair I am not gonna put on any makeup just because I'm lounging at home today and then I got to figure out what I'm gonna cook what are my sides gonna be my responsibility for the big dinner tonight Randy's handling the grilling portion the meat portion and I think I'm gonna do green beans and some form of potato something but I don't know yet maybe I'll come up with an idea in my cookbook Woo! Uh, I know we're going to have a cocktail. That's for sure on the agenda. And I'm just going to play out here with these guys. They love running in the yard. We've got the door open. We have Pollux's doggy door, the uh, modified adapted doggy door for this guy open. It'll be open all day long. He will run and play and he will be worn out by tonight. So I'm excited. I'm looking so forward to just oh, a day outside in the sunshine. So this is the modified doggy door. We had to roll up the little flap. We have it pinned with chip clips. Come on, Pollux, because it's the only way Pollux will go in. Come on, come on. Hey. What? Come on, Moo, you'll go out. You'll show them how it's done, right? Come on. How come dogs never do what you want them to do? Come on, Moo, come on out, come on out. Oh, there, thank you for your help. What, you been eating grass? Look here. Oh my goodness. Ew. Now, come on, let's go in.
Pollux, are you happy? Number four. That was it. Number four. Mooey. How many times are you going to roll today? Are you happy, Boo? Are you happy, Moo? You look hot. You're panty. So Randy and I are outside this afternoon trying to do an Amazon influencer review for our robot pool vacuum. We bought this thing last spring, used it all year long. Randy didn't have to vacuum the pool one single time by hand. He loves this robot vacuum for our pool. And so it runs on a two hour cycle. That's how long it takes it to clean the pool or that's how long it goes anyway. And so I'm out here trying to get some good shots of it going up the sides and getting up on the steps and doing all the fancy things. And so we're just standing here in the sunshine watching the robot go. <laughs> if you have a pool, this is worth your investment. It is so great. Not once did we have to clean the pool. And every time I wanted to come out and get in the pool, I didn't have to wait on Randy. It didn't matter if he was home or not. The pool was always clean. It was fantastic. He's going to wait till the end of two hours to do it. There he goes. That's actually a pretty good shot. We are getting overrun by wood bees. We have seen two huge, big yellow and black furry wood bees, and they just fly up and hover just right here and hang at your face. <laughs> they freak me out. I don't know what they're doing, I guess, because it's a warm day. All the wood bees are coming out and the red wasp, which bad. You do not want to get stung by a red wasp. You think wood bees are slick? Yeah, slick. Slick and round. Okay. I think somebody is needing a Judy. They've been running around in the sunshine too much. Pox, is it time for just a little Judy? Yeah, Judy's are good. Oh, you got Henrietta in here. Here, Henrietta, we'll put her over here. And you can take your Judy. I think Maxie's already deep in a Judy in here. Yeah, he is. It's Judy time. What'd you get? What's your new toy? It's a rotisserie attachment for the Weber grill. And I'm actually fixing to build the fire to get it going. And then I will go inside and put the chickens on here. Ooh. Tell me what you got in there. Two chickens, oranges, red onion, peppercorn, and rosemary, and garlic. And it's a brine. It's just a brine. So what you gonna do with those two chickens? I'm gonna take them out and let them dry up. No, but how are you gonna cook them? I'm gonna cook them on a rotisserie. <laughs>
So if y'all haven't guessed it by now, this is Randy's new grill toy. He got this rotisserie set that fits his Weber charcoal grill. So it's this ring. Oh, they're turning. <laughs> so it's this ring that fits on your Weber. It's got the motor, the spigot. Is it called a spigot? Yeah. Spigot, like all the things that makes this rotisserie set. And it fits on your existing Weber grill. So the rotisserie chickens are on the Weber. I am hanging out on the couch and everybody's doing a lot of nothing. Let's see what we got here now. Oh, wow. They did cook up in an hour and 15 minutes. Whoa. They're looking good. They look really good. I gotta figure out which part is I don't know that you need to baste them with anything. I mean, maybe a little bit, but. Oh, you said you wanted barbecue sauce. Yeah, but I didn't realize they were gonna get all crispy and stuff like that already. Wow, look at those. Who's excited about my dinner tonight? <laughs> All right. Well, you making yourself comfy? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Damn, look at those. Yeah, damn, look at those. Wow. They're ready. So Randy's new toys panned out. The chickens are ready. They're at 165. Randy actually made a chicken for my parents. My dad's on the way over to pick up his chicken. And then I'm gonna go in the house and I think I'm gonna do roasted potatoes and green beans. Super simple, but it sounds complicated, but it's simple. Just what? You're waiting on me. Waiting on me. <laughs> I just don't want to do anything fancy. So yeah, roasted potatoes and green beans. But look who's hanging out by the grill. This smells so good out here. I mean, it smelled good with the chickens, but once he basted that little bit of barbecue on there, oh my goodness. So Pollux and I can't get enough of it, right, boo? It just smells so good. You're getting the good smells, aren't you, bud? What about you, Moose? Hmm. All the smells are coming from the smoker right over to Pollock's. Did you just pick it up and set it over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> Woo wee. That's all it is right there. Y'all should smell this. Pox said he know. He's smelling it. He's smelling it. <laughs> Are you following the chickens? <laughs> well, you know how my day is going to end. The sun's getting ready to go down. I'm going to get a belly full of some awesome smelling rotisserie chicken, some garlic roasted potatoes, green beans. <laughs> Pox is thirsty. And then I'm going to end my evening right there on the couch, take a Judy, watch a good show, something, and I'm probably gonna hit the bed early tonight. But thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed your day, and hopefully I sent some sunshine your way and good smells, chicken smells. See you later.